If you dream of living in a tiny house and having a family, but are a little bit worried that you won't be able to make the space work, this next one's for you, because we're about to visit the most beautiful and incredibly cleverly designed family tiny house. Hi Taj, how are you? Hello, good, how are you? Very well, thank you. G'day Mitch, how are you doing mate? Good mate, and you? Very well, thank you. And it is just a pleasure to be at your beautiful tiny home. <laughs> thank yes, you. Welcome, mate. <laughs> now with this tiny house, you did all the design yourself, then you got another builder just to do the exterior and you finished all of the interior yourself as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, I did all the electrical for it. We got a builder to make it to lock up. And Mitch's dad is a plumber, so we were pretty lucky he did the bathroom for yeah. us. Oh, very <laughs> handy. Yeah, thanks, Dad. So he did the plumbing and what else? We had to get a carpenter in to make our crazy staircase and mm -hmm. we had to get kitchen guys in to make the kitchen because that's just a bit difficult. <laughs> yeah. And I did a couple of days of painting, so I helped. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And you did all of the design yourself on SketchUp, didn't you? Yeah, I learned how to use SketchUp just to try and work out if it would work, find a home for everything and a space for the kids. And yeah, we did it all on SketchUp and it was just a great resource to work everything out. And what size is the tiny house? It's 11 meters by 2.4 wide and 4.3 high from the bottom of the tires to the top of the roof. And you're off the grid with this tiny home as well, aren't you? We are. Yeah, we've got 13 kilowatt hours of lithium batteries, four and a half kilowatts of solar panels. We also have access to potable bore water and about 7,000 litres of water storage. That's a really good sized solar system, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically the whole roof span. When and we, um, sunny Queensland, <laughs> why wouldn't you? Yeah, the when we first moved day. in, actually, I thought we had to be really conservative with solar. So for the first probably, what, two weeks, I was being really careful with like the coffee machine, hair straightener, like I was like, we can't use this all at the same time. And actually, I don't even notice now. I'm not a conservative person when it comes to power either. Well, with such a good spec system, you don't have to be, do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. By, you know, 8 a.m., we're down to 50% battery, and yeah. then it's charged back up by 11 a.m. And can you tell me about the design of the home? I really like, like, light open spaces. I like kind of a beachy vibe, a very, yeah, a light and natural vibe. So I really wanted it to be sort of light and bright and happy, and so we went with the timber and the white. With the deck, my dream when designing the house was just to sit back, have a coffee and the kids be completely safe and me not have to chase after them. So that's why we've got a really nice big open space and we've used the, the pool fencing. <laughs> <laughs> what a great idea though. Yeah. yeah. It's so good just having that peace of mind, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> and you're a family of four living here. Yeah. yeah. How's the tiny house working out for family life? Really amazing. So we've got a three-year-old and a one-year-old. And I mean, it's all our one-year-old's ever known, but our three-year-old, oh my gosh, he loves it. And what a beautiful parking spot you found for the house as well. Yeah, thank yeah, you. We amazing. absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah, it's surrounded by farmland. It's amazing. There's cows in the paddocks and it was, mm. there was a ginger pasture over there when we first moved in and yes, yeah, it's lovely. And it's yeah. lovely being sort of up on a little bit of a hill so we can kind of just have that view of the, yeah, the whole space. What was it like finding the parking spot here? Pretty full on. We initially had another parking spot in the area but it fell through last minute because our house was actually too big to get through and, and weaving around the roads that they had. So last minute before we moved, we had put a post out on Facebook and find somewhere new. And I was inundated with offers. It was actually quite overwhelming. Wow. <laughs> um, I'm talking like close to probably 80. Like it was so many. And this was actually the last place that we viewed just mm. before we left. The very front yeah. of the driveway, there was these huge posts really close to the driveway. And we came in and we're like, this is not happening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we almost happening. turned around and drove away. <laughs> and then we met the landowner and she's just the most lovely person. And uh, we eventually came to the topic of the post and she was like, oh, I've been meaning to get rid of those. Yeah. So we're like, oh, Everything okay. was just very easy. We were talking about the water. She mentioned the bore water. So everything that we were questioning, she was like, oh no, we can make that work. She's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Meant to be then. Yeah. And you've got the veggie gardens down here as well? We do, yeah. Fairly recent, actually. We've got three edible garden beds and mm. one flower bed. <laughs> that we use a humanure with. 
<laughs> You've got a human your garden. I yeah, love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, all of the compost from our composting toilet goes into our flower garden. <laughs> what a great idea. And the flowers are cranking, aren't they? They're loving it. They yeah, really are. I bet they are. <laughs> We're very proud. Yeah, As you should right. be. <laughs> what you've done on the exterior of this home is just awesome. And I'm so excited to see what it's like on the inside. Can we check it out? Yeah, absolutely. Let's Thank go. Thank you very much. <laughs> right. Come on in. This is absolute magic. You've just created such a spacious feeling and welcoming home. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it, thanks. Um, <laughs> certainly feels that way. <laughs> it doesn't feel small at all. Immediately walking in, I love the way you've made such a feature of the staircase. Yeah, the staircase was me playing around on SketchUp. The idea was to connect both the loft spaces with the one staircase because we didn't want a ladder going to one and a staircase the other. Because when we were designing the place, our three-year-old was only one and a half at the time. So his safety was a big thing for me. <laughs> Fair enough yeah. too, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. And obviously it's a great way of adding more storage to the home as well. Absolutely, yeah, yeah we stored almost everything we own just in there's, that staircase to be honest. <laughs> there's lots of storage in there. We've put a PowerPoint in one of them so all of like our electronics gets charged in one space. We've got our vacuum cleaner in another one that's permanently on a charger. Our dining chairs. <laughs> our dining chairs are in there. It's great storage. Oh, you need a place to tuck mm. all that stuff away, don't you? <laughs> it also goes completely inside of the staircase and the kids can't climb up to get up to the room so whenever we want them to stay downstairs we can put those stairs completely inside and, and it's in. Wonderful and the lounge here is just so spacious and I especially like the way that you've got these huge doors that just allow this to become one giant room combined with the deck. This is a big part of our design feature that was like most important for us at the start was to be able to open up basically this whole front wall Mm. into the deck so we've got these bifold doors that completely open up and same with the kitchen window and it all just completely opens up and it, yeah <laughs> and it makes the place feel massive in queensland it gets so hot here and you've got such a brilliant climate that that combination with outdoor living is almost essential here isn't it yeah mm -hmm. absolutely great that you've got the book storage up here as well Yes, this is actually a fairly new addition as well. We originally had a couch here. It was a storage couch. So we had all of our books, all of our shoes, lots of different things in the storage couch. But on the flip side, it was quite uncomfortable. Yeah. And we really just wanted a nice, comfortable place to lounge. And we mm -hmm. sort of had to toss out. We're like, let's get rid of the storage couch. Um, we'll get something really, really comfortable. This one turns into a bed as well but we had to find a place to put all of our books. And mm. I feel like this is actually better than what we had before. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> and it adds a pop of color too. It just makes the space really vibrant. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I am 100% with you on the built-in storage couches. They look great. They add so much function to a home, but I've never sat on one and just been like, this is the most comfortable thing ever. <laughs> no. Yep. When I was postpartum recovery from giving birth, it right. was absolutely horrendous to sit on so I wish we had have just got this from the start and ever since getting this like it's just brought us together closer as a family like we bring it out of a weekend yeah and the kids climb all over it and we lie down and yeah it's like their little and, jumping castle yeah right they have a ball. <laughs> awesome yeah. and I spy this hatch in the ceiling over here what's going on there that is our projector <laughs> cool so this was another big part of our design was to make sure that we can pull the blind down of our door and then shoot a projector from underneath this landing and sofa bed comes out and we can all lie down there and watch movies together. Great idea. And in the lounge here, there's a definite musical theme. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's all Mitch. <laughs> yeah, I used to play a lot of music and I love playing the guitar. And it's funny, our three-year-old has been loving picking up the ukulele and playing along with a couple of his favorite songs. So we've set him up with a, yeah, with a guitar hanging there. I need a design. With a ukulele <laughs> hanger. Awesome. You've got the desk there too? Yeah, I am still at uni, so I sort of need a space to study. But it's been good kind of having this area here as well, because as we've lived here for the last year and a half, it's kind of worked out to be a bit of a multi sort of use space. So when our baby was born at the very beginning, um, we were able to put her sort of little rocking chair there. It's just been nice to have a space that we can change and as we need it as yeah. we're kind of growing. And what are you studying? Uh, early childhood. Teaching. Oh, great. Yeah. So I'm uh, currently working at Montessori preschool. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always so impressed when I come into tiny homes with kids and it's just so ordered and tidy. How on earth do you make that possible? 
I'm a Montessori teacher and we kind of put a lot of Montessori philosophy into our parenting as well. And a big part of it is minimalism. We don't have a lot of toys for the kids. The toys that we do have are, I guess they're all kind of natural looking, nice mm. to look at. So mm. it doesn't, purposeful, yeah. very purposeful. And instilled into the kids from a young age is sort of a sense of order as well. So right. um, they are very good at sort of packing up and having a bit of responsibility for their things. That's such a good way of doing it. And the kitchen in this tiny house is just brilliant. And of course it's so important again, because being a family home, the kitchen just becomes the center and hearth of the space, doesn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I definitely spend a lot of time in here, or we spend a lot of time in here, I should say. But yeah, it's huge. It's actually bigger than any kitchen I've ever had. As a cook, I really don't like people walking through the kitchen while I'm trying to cook. <laughs> so I didn't want anyone to be trying to get to the bathroom or over to yeah something else so I can say, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Fair enough too. <laughs> Yeah. Having the galley style kitchen on both sides of the house is really functional as well too. 100%. I definitely use this side. It's all my coffee, my tea, my <laughs> which breakfast is a big stuff. part of, yeah, mm. big part of my morning. And I do just like having a lot of bench space. Beautiful timber in here as well. Yeah, it's reclaimed timber mess, mate. So yeah, with our kitchen bench top, we did a cutout for the sink in the actual bench top so we can put that timber back in and create more bench space. We yeah. actually saw it in your house. Mm. <laughs> of course. Um, the house of your videos. So um, yeah, we were very inspired by that and we've got yeah. something very similar happening over there. Oh, I love that feature in my home and I'm very <laughs> glad you're enjoying it in yours as well. <laughs> and I especially like the way you've done the bench tops with the extension here as well. Yeah, that's our dining room table. So we all sit around that at dinner time and eat together and then it folds away and then it's back to being a kitchen. The jar storage up there is really nice too. Yeah, makes it nice and easy. I mean, it was definitely not going to find a pantry that was going to fit my beautiful big jars and I was very attached to bringing them with me. <laughs> Fair enough too. And no shortage of storage? Yeah, like I said, this is probably the biggest kitchen I've ever had. And I think I fit more in here than we even had. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see that you've been able to fit a good sized oven and also a dishwasher in here. It was one of the most important things <laughs> when we were working at the kitchen design was where does a dishwasher go? Yeah. What sort of dishwasher it will be? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the oven. The oven, we were lucky we stumbled across it on Marketplace. It's a microwave and an oven at the same time. and. Yeah, and it's electric as well and can use it no worries. We've got plenty of power for it. Awesome. Mm. And down the other end of the home there, we've got your bathroom. Can we take a look at that? Let's check it out. All right. Coming into this bathroom, you've got a lot going on in the entranceway here. Yeah, so that is our wardrobe, our kids' wardrobe, our laundry baskets, our dog bed, bit of linen storage. What else is in there? <laughs> Oh, so a bit much. more electronic stuff and yeah, dog food and yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah all sorts lots of stuff, stuff in there. there. It's the all space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. And this bathroom, wow, what a spacious area. Yeah, it's actually what we need as a family of four, especially the shower. I mean, the kids go in the shower together, they run around, they have lots of fun in there. When we first moved in, obviously, baby was a newborn, so this was a change table. We had all of the nappies and everything here, so that was really useful for that. and. Yeah. Yeah, washing machine under washing there Washing machine behind me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I especially like the way that you've added in the bath tap down here as well. What a good feature to add. Yeah, it was great. When we had the baby bath, we were able to fill up the bath really easily. And when we want to mop the floor or fill something up, you know, it's just great to have that tap there. Nice and easy. I hate it. <laughs> you hate it. <laughs> I hate that tap so much. It's my one big regret. Why? I mean, we've designed the house in a certain way so that our kids can kind of do what they want. It's a real yes space. Um, we don't like to say no to them too much and I have to manage a lot of behavior when it comes to that tap with turning off and on. Right. <laughs> Especially with only having 7,000 liters of water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need to be on top of them. And the composting toilet here. Composting toilet. Yeah, we did a lot of research on what system to get. Ended up going with a Rotaloo. The idea is, you know, to fill a chamber up and just swizzle it around and so that was a big reason and um, I was lucky enough to find someone that was getting rid of one second hand so we got it for a slab of beer. <laughs> you got a Rotolu for a slab of beer? Slab yeah, of beer. So <laughs> That's a $4,000 toilet. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so lucky to find someone getting rid of one. I had to clean it. Came with a price, yeah. We yeah. had to clean it. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I'd clean it for $4,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so that really helped the moving this along. It was really good. And sleeping lofts are upstairs. I'm excited to see what you've done up there. Yeah, right. let's go. Can't wait to see how you fit in them. <laughs> So we've got your loft over here and then kids loft over the other side. Yeah, that's right. Only recently was this the kids, both kids loft. Our baby's been in our room pretty much for the whole last year and a half. She's only just moved into the big room. Right. <laughs> Exciting for her. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and you've kept your loft up there very simple. Yeah. I mean, we don't need much in there. It's just a room with a bed, right? Yep. And I guess now we've got a little bit of space to play with now that the cot's not in there too. Definitely. <laughs> nice to have. And should we go up and see what you've done for the kids? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. I definitely feel like a giant up here. This crawlway is quite cool though, eh? It's quite an adventure coming up here. I bet the kids really love it. They do. This is their play cave. <laughs> I love running up and down there and running cars and all sorts of fun up and down there. It's great. And it's nice that you've got the safety gate at the end of the hallway as well, so you don't have to worry about them when they're up here. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. They can both open the gate, but my biggest fear was, because they do love running up and down, is just if they were to trip in the wrong spot and fall on down, so the gate kind of solves that problem. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even though it's quite compact up here in terms of the height, there's a lot of playroom up here. Mm, the floor space is absolutely huge. Yeah, heaps of floor space for yeah. them. Yeah. So the book storage I especially love. I just love the look of it. And both of our kids are really into their books. So it's nice and handy having it just yeah. right there, ready to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the toy storage, the shelf was actually made by a carpenter during lockdown. Um, so it fits perfectly into the space and yeah, it works really well. It works really good. One of the beautiful things about both Steiner and Montessori style toys is they do become such a beautiful feature in the home. They're actually lovely to look at. It's not plastic junky crap, is it? It's no. really quite decorative. They look beautiful. I absolutely love just looking at that toy shelf and, and they love playing with them. So we're really lucky that it just ties into the whole look of the house as well. And you've been living in this tiny home for quite a while already now, haven't you? Yeah, just hit 18 months. Yeah, year and a half. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And how is the space working out for you both? It's I perfect. mean, it works for our family <laughs> life so well. It suits the way that we live. It's really just, it works for us. Mm. I can really see that you have designed a lot into this home to really make it work for the family unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. That was everything that went into it. Like I said, when we designed it, our son was 18 months old. So he was peak into everything, running around. <laughs> and so we designed it for that. <laughs> yeah. When we kind of came up with the idea to build it, we were already in that chapter where we were looking at houses to buy and we were about to get onto the mortgage train, you know, but we were really looking at houses that we wouldn't choose. But when we looked at this option, we were able to build exactly what we wanted and choose everything down to the last light switch, every single thing we've chosen, and it mm. aligns with what we want it to look like and feel like and how we live. The tiny space to me feels better it works out so much better. Mm. We don't miss anything. We don't miss any of the funny little things that happens with them. Mm. <laughs> They're not in another room. Like we hear all their funny conversations. We see mm -hmm. all of the silly things that they do. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about the cost that was involved in making this house a reality? Yeah, I ran the numbers recently. It was about 160K. That's fantastic. Yeah. Including the solar, the deck, the, yeah. Yeah, it's including the deck as well, it. yeah. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. And now you're obviously so well settled into the home. What does the future hold for you both? I mean, mm. I would really love to eventually buy our own property and potentially extend one more tiny house onto it. So when our kids are old enough and they do want their own space, Either they can have this and we will go into our own or vice versa. <laughs> what a great plan. Yeah. <laughs> well, this really is just such a beautiful space. And I especially love how much of yourselves has been poured into it and how much thought and consideration has been placed into making this work for your young ones. That really just makes it such a special home. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Brass. My pleasure. <laughs> this is a tiny home that has been built with a tremendous amount of love. Every square inch of this space just emanates family and connection and the attention to detail and the way that they have built this house to just so beautifully mirror family life is just so special. I cannot wait to see where the family goes from here. <laughs>